What's up, everybody? It's your old pal, Taint Peter. We are back again with another edition of the Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown playthrough. This is part 19. We are down here in the pit of Eternal Sands, and we are trying to uh, make our way to a couple places here. I guess one would be all the way up here. One would be all the way over here. Summon Haftarang, Guardian of the North. And then one would be all the fucking way over here. Oh, my own. How are we going to get over there? Um, sorry, I've been watching The Sopranos lately. You're going to hear a little bit of that talk. So, first of all, I guess what I'm interested in is getting up here and exploring this a little bit just to see what's there. Um, another easier way to do it might be to just go here and go backwards. But hey, it is what it is. I'm going to give this one more shot. You can see I died here on the last video. It's getting a little late at night. It was very frustrating. So, called it a night. I'm back again now. Let's see what we can do. Um, at this point, we're kind of just exploring the map, looking for treasure, you know, like goods and things we can use. We also unlocked our double jump last night. This piece of shit, huh? Want to fuck with me? Let's see, where are we? Oh yeah, we actually want to go this way. Don't really care about that dude. I'm not trying to fuck around with him right now. Although, you know what? God, fucking taking the fight to me, so. And honestly, don't mind a little bit of gems. All right, I'll even go back down here, collect these. Fuck it, I'll kill this guy. I feel like this game is just making me do this. There we go. Look at that. That's what he gets for fucking with me. Come on. <coughs> How's everybody doing today, tonight, whenever you're watching this? I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're in a wonderful mood. You deserve it, you know? Who works harder than you? All the shit you put up with, you really honestly deserve a break. Okay. I remember this one being a little bit tricky yesterday. Let's see. Yep. Still tricky. Confirmed to still be tricky. Okay, we did it. Good lord. Yep, this one's tricky too, I remember. Right back up there. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Fucking motherfucker. How did we do this yesterday? I think it was like this. Yep. We did that. Let that go. Jump there. Okay, that's how it was done. And this, I think, was just a little flip right there. God damn, this uh, this whole thing is fucking nuts, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This one was tough. Okay. Okay. My fucking god. Whoa. Okay. Now, let's see. Where are we? Right here. So, maybe what I gotta do... There we go. Alright, guys. Nice, nice, nice. This is where we left off. This is just absolutely fucking nuts right here. Let's watch this and time it real quick. So let's see, this hungry, hungry little caterpillar is going to come up there. We're going to go down here. Hmm. Seriously? Okay, this is starting to piss me off a little bit. 
How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Maybe I need to leave a shell of myself. Fuck. Fuck, man. There goes go. that thing. Fuck me. Oh, and what? If the only thing over here is a fucking coin? This is a little ridiculous. Come on. It's kind of just wondering what was down there, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I think if I don't make it through this time, I might have to pivot to exploring other areas of this game. There we go. Oh my god. Alright, well good. I'm glad that happened. I was honestly very ready to quit right there. <laughs> that was the end of it for me. Is there anything interesting down here or is this a huge mistake? Let's look. Right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I don't like this room. I don't like this room one bit. I have a feeling it's possibly going to just continue to be just as hard if I continue up this way. Oh my god, a walk buck tree. Oh man, I gotta say, probably never in this game have I wanted a walk buck tree so badly as I do right now. That fucking puzzle was a huge pain in the ass. Mm, but look at that, I'm replenished, I got my arrows. Got everything a boy could want, everything a man could need. Let's go out here. Hold on, hold on. We got this. We got this. Oh. So this, I wonder what's going to be in here. I guess let's just find out. Will it be a boss? Probably. Uh oh. What's up, asshole? Okay. All right. He's a little bit of an asshole. Oh, it's a treasure. Okay. We're probably going to want to get that treasure. Get the fuck up over there, dude. Jeez, give me this shit. Go. Piece of shit. Oh yeah, you wanna fuck around now? Fuck is all this shit? Dude, this guy coming in off the fucking ceiling out of nowhere? Come on. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. I was trying to teleport back to my thing. Alright, look. This one's a little gnarly. I don't know. I wonder if... Yeah, I need to come back there, although I don't see any fast travel, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. Hmm. Let's give it another shot. I'm very curious what's inside this old treasure chest. Fuck you.
get this guy out of the way. Need a little heal here. Where's this motherfucker? Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. What do we got? What do we got here? This is an amulet. Oh, it's a fucking A. It's an amulet holder. Well, that was definitely worth it then. All right. One more little amulet holder, and I guess we can... Go to the walk walk tree here and equip one of these maybe um, one slot usable amulets like maybe make my arrows stronger that might help i'm starting to use a lot of arrows <clears throat> let's see slightly increased damage of arrows slightly reduced poison damage to Athra. yeah i guess arrows i'm using arrows i like that idea i like what i'm hearing all right, let's continue on our way, explore a little bit of this stuff. And then I guess, I mean, fuck, I don't want to have to explore this, but maybe we should. It'd be nice to just be able to like leave the pit of eternal sands behind us. You know what I mean? It's been great to be here. Totally enjoyed my time, but motherfucker. Totally enjoyed my time in this hell hole. Excited to get out. So where do you think we should go? Maybe up first. Unless we think, no, up is the way. Never mind. Don't pay any attention to me. Don't know what I'm talking about. What's up, asshole? What? What oh, just hit me? See what's up in here. Ooh, that was close. Well, <laughs> maybe maybe it wasn't close. Maybe it was what actually happened. Let's see. I feel like that's the exit to whatever this weird little area is going to wind up being all about. Come the fuck on. Shit gets really demanding up in here. See, what they don't tell you is it's a Metroidvania with great combat, but the Platforming is unbelievably fucking challenging, which, you know, depending on where you're at with platforming in your life, either a good thing or a bad thing. I like a good little platforming, but uh, this is even really, you know, I'm going to say it. It's fucking hard, man. This is a really hard challenge <clears throat> for me. For me, for me personally, I don't know about for you, but for me personally, finding this challenging. But look at that. Look at that reward we just got there. Love it. And I do believe on the last video we were saying as far as the money that we're getting, we've got, let's see, 1160 gems up there. And if I'm not mistaken, another healing potion would cost us 25 or 2600 of 100 gems. Uh, so I kind of feel like I want to save for that, but it is a long fucking way away. It's a good, a good amount away. So there's possibly things we could use more than that at this stage in the game. I don't know. I'm always a big fan of gathering more healing and more health in these games, though. Because it just makes your survivability a little bit better, and, uh, you know, when the challenge is like it is, you're going to want that. At least on your first, like, playthrough, you know? And then after that, when you kind of know what you're doing, feel a little bit more confident. Maybe then you can fuck around. Level up some other stuff. Even then, you're still going to want the health, let's be honest. 
All right, let's see here. All right, we're, we're clearing it out. We're doing some good exploring here. Proud of us. Proud of you. Honestly, we're doing this together. Oh, you fucking bitch. There you go, you piece of shit. Oh, yeah. And now you did, so how does that feel, motherfucker? Anything over here? Uh oh. Alright, let's think about this for a minute. Why don't we go get this walk walk tree over here before we fight that big motherfucker? You fucking son of a bitch. Did you see that shit? Get it, you motherfucker. Hmm. Let's take that up here and see what we can find. Oh, okay, a little collectible. Oh, I see. I want to go up the other side and destroy that. All right. Give me all of your gems. Mm, fuck you. Don't want none of that. Don't want none of that. We're gonna go down here. That's right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Jump this piece of shit. Come out here. Get a nice little walk walk for ourselves. Now the question is... I want to go back and try to fight the guy that was up there. Do we think that there was something treasure-wise in the air that we would want to get to? I don't know, man. There probably is, and you know, we could also, like, go back down and around, but fucking A, do I really want to do that? I probably do. I mean, it doesn't really behoove you not to explore in this game. Hmm. All right, fuck it, let's go. <clears throat> Maybe I can just like run past some of these guys who are annoying. Not have to fight them, make my way back to the weird big dude that we found. I know he's hiding something. Games like this, there's not just a big dude doing nothing. In big dude's gonna get you something. Look, that was not so bad to find my way back to him. Here he is. Oh, he's leading with a fucking red attack. Okay, great. Would he freeze me? Oh yeah, he's a freeze guy. He's a Mr. Freezy. Alright, well, guess what, motherfucker? How do you like that? Mm, feel good? Oh, 
All right. Oh, he's one of the lost warriors. That was a side quest. See, I knew there would be something important here. And there's a key item. Saman always preferred writing and acting, but after Ardashir noticed his skill in a fight, Tamiris asked for Saman to put down his useless pen and pick up a weapon to save Persia. Okay. All right. And that's what we get. That's what we get for being brave. Now I guess we should be brave and go down here, huh? Clear this out. Fucking A. Let's fucking do it. Let's just do it. Why not? Should all be re traversable in reverse, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven, bounce, bounce, bounce with me, bounce with me. Whoop, might be right there. Just gonna continue on our way here. Just for safety, we're going to go back to this little walk walk tree over here. Loath as I am to do it because I do not want to respond here, but it is what it is, man. You know, sometimes you just got to do this kind of shit when you're exploring. Oh, did we ever? Yeah, we did. We put the arrow amulet on. Straight ahead we go. In fact, hold on. Before we enter this cave, I'm going to take a sweet sip of my drink. Your old buddy Taint Peter, he loves to have a good old vodka soda while he plays these games. Man, if it doesn't kick it up a notch. <clears throat> Although, I'll tell you. Sometimes it makes it tough in a game like this when you're making like your third episode in a row. Maybe you're on your second or third uh, vodka soda trying to bounce around time things it can get a little tough but you know it adds to the challenge and you come back the next day you know and you're not having a vodka soda maybe you're having say a coffee or something normal suddenly it's easy and you're like oh that wasn't so bad oh you fucking piece of shit did you guys see that fucking low down dirty move you snake bitch yeah I'll come over here and fucking kill you Low down ass bitch. Fuck you, asshole. Put up your shit. Honestly, this game is such a fucking great Metroidvania. It really is. It's just the, the movement feels so good. The combat is so fun. And as you can see, I mean, like, you guys can't feel the combat or the fluidity of the movement. Maybe you can sort of see the fluidity, but what really I think you can see in the video probably is the really great level design, the uh, trickiness of the platforming and the puzzles that it presents you. It's very, very top of its class, in my opinion. Now I'm curious what's over in this corner got to be something, right? Let's go take a look. Come on. Don't be nasty now. Don't be nasty. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. This is me fucking it up. I think I know exactly what I need to do. Just being a little bit of a dumbass. Why did that not fucking... Jesus, this is fucking... Ridiculous. Fuck me. Come on now. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. 
creep under here, then we're gonna go up this weird thing. I think I got everything that I needed to get there, so I'm just going to go back this way. Yep. Whew, okay, nice. A little Xerxes coin. Xerxes. Xerxes sounds like somebody saying a name Xerxes, but the person saying it has like a retainer. Xerxes, come on. Like it's like a kid with a with a retainer. Xerxes, Xerxes is his older brother. Xerxes, stop stealing my stuff, you fucking dick. Jesus Christ. Or maybe it's just me. <clears throat> All right, look at that. We cleared that whole little area out. I think we got a, a Xerxes coin out of it and. Anything else? Maybe, like, you know, a lot of gems, I guess, which, as you guys know, we're, we're always looking for gems. Can I, can I duck under here? No, no, no. All right, fuck okay. it. What do I got to go up on this side? Nope, I'm not going back in there. All right. Here it is. Here's the secret to that fucking puzzle. Nice. Alright, so you know what? Say what you want about the, uh, what is the place called? The Pit of Eternal Sands. But it's got a lot of gems. This is a great place to come make some money. Some mid-game cashola, baby. Who doesn't want a little bit of that? Take this. There we go. Oh, what's going on up here? Interesting. Okay, so now we're right back to this. Okay, love it. And then, of course, I can go to my little tree, re-up my shit. This is just fantastic. How are we doing on time here? 29 minutes. Maybe we can get to the next area that we're trying to get to, which I guess we should think about. Maybe maybe we should just clean this area up here, huh? Let's, let's do that. The rest of this episode, we'll just worry about... Finishing the Pit of Eternal Shame or whatever. Pit of Eternal Sands. Next episode, we'll continue on the main path of the story. Yep, cool. Here we go. A pit of Shame. I see what's going on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my double jump. But I think there might be treasure up there, folks. And you know how your old buddy Taint feels about treasure. I will crawl through a thousand geode studded caves. I'll get hit by every geode. I'll climb columns of sand that go up my ass. I will do anything. Get that sweet, fuck me, <laughs> sweet treasure. Come down here. Yep. Just want the loot, man. I don't care who I piss off either. I don't care if all the Persians. Okay, maybe I don't need to dash into the walkway so aggressively. I don't care if all the Persians get mad at me. I don't care if my brother Xerxes and his friends beat me up. I will take their fucking treasure. How about this? That's the fucking way up. 
That's what they want you to do. Oh, wow. Wait, there's even more. Hold on. Oh, that's the fucking trick. Look at this. Gem City. I'd say Gem City USA, but it's clearly Gem City Persia. Different Gem City. Okay, ouch. Gem City PER. Per. Perj. Oh, coin city. I do think we might wind up keeping that coin. So we're about to touch a walk walk tree. I don't care what that fucking dude wants. Although I have a feeling I'm about to have to care. These guys, man, they fucking they just force me to do this shit to them. There we go. Times I just want nothing more than to not have to engage them in combat, but they fucking just make me do it. They have a way. Of just making me fucking do it. This is a little gift. All right, here we go. Well, let's see. Yep, here we go. Let's go on in. Let's go on in, baby. Let's see what there is to see. One of the nice things about this game, especially after playing so many fucking Souls games, is um, you don't lose your gems when you die, which is a nice change of pace. I don't always want that to be the case. I love the fact that in Souls games, you do lose your, uh, motherfucker. You do lose them. But it's just nice, it's a nice little break right now to play a game where you're like, no, if you die, you actually keep your resources. You're okay. In fact, you're gonna die a shit ton, and, uh, you just need to worry about learning how to get through the puzzle. Don't worry about losing your shit. Because you're gonna die. Oh, you're gonna die. God damn it. So close. That was a close call, folks. Fuck you. Oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. Dude, really? I'm gonna just go down this way. Could possibly be down here. Oh fuck me. Oh damn, it's a it's a fucking what is it called? Like a pedal? It's it's important. I have to do this stupid fucking challenge. Damn it. But again, that's why we explore the map, man. That is why we explore. We have to find these things. So what's down there is the uh, I don't forget what it's called, but it's like the petal of the something tree or whatever, and what it does is it increases my maximum health if I get four of them. So naturally, this is something that I must do. Fuck me, dude. Come the fuck on. This shit's like insane. Dude, <laughs> it must be frustrating to watch this and feel like it's like it's so easy. Like, dude, just jump to the fucking wall. I'm telling you, it's not because everything you fucking touch here is constantly falling away from you. You feel a lot of pressure to get this shit right. No, dude, I almost made that one too. That's f so fucking insanely hard. I wonder if it's just this area too. That maybe maybe the rest of the this is gonna sound so lame. 
Maybe the rest of the game won't be this hard. No, it, surely it will. But this area is just unfucking forgiving with these spikes and shit. All right. Oh fuck. Dude. Really? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I can't fucking warp back to that? So here's one thing that I, I'm a little pissed at this game about. It's got this really cool warp feature, which is this, right? You leave your thing there, but there is a serious fucking delay on if you leave that thing when you can actually go back to it. Dude, you've got to be fucking joking me. Oh my god. I have to apologize to the viewer. This has got to be really fucking tedious for you guys. I mean, unlike me, though, you can actually fast forward to the part of this video where I pass this shit and just continue watching. Me, I gotta actually do it in real life and get through this crap. Fucking absolute, absolute crazy fuck is this shit. Alright, look, at least it gave me a little checkpoint here. That was starting to get fucking insane. There's no way I was gonna go through all that crap again. At least the game developers figured that out. They're like, people aren't gonna stand for this shit. Dude, what? Come on now. This has been really fucking unbelievable. Wow. And of course, right there at the fucking end, just to fuck you. Actually, this is starting to feel a little cheap. Because, yes, you're learning from it, but also... It's just kind of like starting to be there just to punish you and surprise attack you. Like, the ones where you can't see the shit coming, those are the ones that are pissing me off. The ones that I could see coming, fine. Punish me for that, that's fine. Like, you know, if I miss it, but... Oh, fuck you. The ones that you can't see, that's a little fucked up. Just kind of like you go through this long-ass obstacle course, you're like, oh my god, I'm actually doing it, and then something just totally blindsides you out of nowhere. That's kind of cheap. Not a fan of that. Yeah, like that, like, what What am I doing there? That is such a long run to get to that fucking point. And it's so fucking difficult, and you have to get everything so perfect. And then it's just kind of like... There to smack you down. Alright, so like... There we go. Oh my god, and there's the reward. What a pain in the ass that was. But you gotta do it. Symmetry pedals, it's kind of like... If there was just a mysterious chest there, I might not have put up with that shit. But, no pain, no gain, and 
we want to increase our max uh, health bar as much as we can, so we unfortunately got to put up with that crap. Now, I'm here, right? So I might as well see what this is. Ay, yeah, yeah. First, the walk, walk tree. You fucking piece of shit. How are we doing on time? All right, we're at 40 minutes. Why don't we call this episode here? So thank you for watching. This has been episode 19 of the playthrough of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. I'm going to pause this one. I'm going to meet you back in part 20, and we will continue our journey. It is very difficult, but very rewarding and fun. Metroid venue. See you guys next time.